Hi and welcome to Game Creation and today we are going to be incorporating the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, this will work just as well with the Xbox One controller. Um, just make sure you have it wired if you don't have a Bluetooth one. Um, don't ask me how that works but <laughs> it should work absolutely fine with, with any of the Xbox controllers. Uh, and we'll be using the Xbox object just to hook this all up. Now we're only going to be looking at the um, D-pad today. Um, because the D-pad and the analog stick are treated very, very differently. So we'll look at the analog stick tomorrow. Um, so let's get started. Um, so I've opened up the same uh, project we've used last week, and we've just been iterating upon it. Um, so I'm just going to open the frame, and I always like just to start by having a look at the application. Yeah, it looks, works fine, um, but you need the keyboard at the moment. And so if I click on the D-pad on the controller, it does nothing there's no input at all, um, which is to be expected because if we look in the code and um, let's just close down scrolling and dev area and let's open up player movement, all that I'm looking for is the right arrow is pressed. So this works really well for the keyboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and that will copy, that will highlight all of them. I'm going to press Control and C. But you can right click, I think, maybe. Yeah, you can right click and copy. And then I'm going to go to underneath it, and I'm just going to paste there. And it will paste it above the, the thing you click on. So if I paste, it will paste it up there. And now we can do some with some comments here. So I'm going to insert a comment. And this will be keyboard. And now I'm going to insert a comment here. And the comment will always be above where you right click. And this will be Xbox Analog. So I don't know whether you have the U and the E. It could just be like that. Let's go with that. Okay. So that's looking good. So I, I clearly can see in the code that this is the keyboard bit. This is the analog bit. Now we're going to be looking at tidying this up uh, later in the week. But for now we'll keep these separate so we can just... It's just a bit easier to go through. So we don't want this uh, right arrow is pressed anymore. So let's go into our frame and let's see what objects we have. So I'm just going to double click anywhere in the frame. Um, and if you type in Xbox, you might have Xbox Gamepad come up. If not, just go into the manager, type in Xbox, and it will be there. Now, notice it only works obviously for Windows and then the Windows apps and the X and A, uh, which is the Xbox configuration. Uh, obviously, this won't work on anything other than those, which is absolutely fine. Okay, so let's close that down. And let's go into get the Xbox gamepad. There we go. Right, you need that. It's again, it's an invisible object. So if I put it on the screen, it won't show. Um, that logo is only there so that you can configure it. Um, there's not much to configure in here. Um, dead zones are basically um, for the sticks. Uh, they just give. Uh, oh, and and for the shoulder. Wow. Um, basically, over time, um, the sticks get a bit of wear and tear and they can um, shift to the left or shift to the right um, and this basically says that the sticks and shoulders will always be at zero it doesn't matter whether the they're perfectly at the center it will just assume they're at the center if they're close enough uh, which is really good because you end up um, releasing the, the stick with your finger and the player still moving really slowly to the right or to the left or up or down or whatever um, and this just basically sorts that out. Don't think there's anything else in here of any interest. No. Um, the help is really good. The help is very, very good for that object. So let's go to the event editor. And this is really simple. You right click this and we're going to replace it. And we're going to go to um, direction pad. And we're going to say which one is it? Right. So we're just going to click right. Now um, there's up to four players. So one, two, three, uh, four. I think that goes, yeah. I think it says, oh, four for player three and eight for player. Okay, so this is kind of a binary thing. One, two, eight. They're just kind of multiples of of two. Weird. Um, but player one, so we want one for player one. There we go. And we're just going to test that. Okay, so click right on the keyboard, uh, on the controller. I'm just going to switch back to me, so right on the controller, perfect, okay. Right, let's move it for the next ones. So we're just going to replace. 
There's no quicker way of doing this. You can't cl uh, click and drag, unfortunately. Doesn't take too long. So if I click and drag, basically to edit this, if I double click, it just lets you edit the players. It doesn't let, let you edit the direction, which is kind of annoying. But thankfully, there's only four directions. So which one are we doing now? Up, player one, and replace. Direction pad, and I'm assuming this is down, yep, for player one. And let's just check. So up, down, left, right. And I always check these things because they're quite easy to to get it wrong. So I'm just going to right, up, left, down. There we go. Works perfectly. Very, very happy with that. So um, let's have a look and just check everything's hunky-dory. Now, I don't like the fact that this is in two different places, but we're going to address that later on. Um, notice also, so if I click Run, and let's just try it again. Um, and so I'm going to use the stick. Nothing's happening at all. Um, this is only for the thing here, the uh, D-pad. And it's nice. This is a game that's actually pretty nice with the D-pad. So that works well. Um, but the sticks are a little bit more complicated. Then because a stick can be 360 degrees, um, it, it doesn't have an up. Like it has a... Uh, slightly up, uh, very up. <laughs> it it doesn't have just up, uh, down, left, right like the uh, stick here. Nothing else in this controller does anything at all. So you can click as many buttons as you want. It's not going to do anything. Press the Xbox controller. Oh, that looks like it did something. Oh, I've got an Xbox game bar. There we go. I didn't even know I had that. Um, but that's basically it. And how simple is that? Um, so next uh, episode we're going to be hooking in the analog stick. So I hope you join me then. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.